yet to, to in sort of fruition there for the last six months, but we're just very thankful for our partnership with Ballot Health. Uh, they helped with the funding of uh, our body scanner, which is saving taxpayers uh, about $18,000 a year before we had to get mobile x-ray in. Uh, this ha acts as a huge deterrent. You know, you have inmates bringing in drugs through cavities uh, that are dangerous to staff, personnel, officers. Uh, so not only does it act as a deterrent, but you know they know it's a Class C felony punishable to three to six years. So, so tell us a little bit about how it works and, and you know uh, why. I guess we were just trying to get this thing online to help save some time or save some money for babies. And oh yeah, it helps tremendously. You know, like I say, they're always. You know, inmates are always trying to find out ways to bring in, you know, illegal drugs, maybe weapons into our facilities. So this body scanner, which admits 400 times less than just a regular x-ray, so it's just as safe too. So, you know, like I say, it protects our officers, staff, and the inmate uh, because the stuff that they're bringing in sometimes can be fatal if, it's, if it breaks up inside their body. Tell us, uh, wait, sir. You mentioned something about being certified and all that. You had to get some special certification. Yeah, each officer is trained and certified, and then it's got to be state certified too by the state. So. What kind of process y'all have to go through to get that part of it? Um, you know, I'm not really sure about that. It's, okay. so it's, it's a link. It's through national. Through national. Yes, through the okay. radiology department. Yeah. And then our officers would be taking the test. Yeah. Power point test. Is there an insurance office you know around here that have anything? Uh, like I think that? Carter County. Does Washington County have one? Chief? Okay. okay. Carter County and us. Okay. Anything else you want people to know about this? Or uh, yeah, just uh, just know that we're working diligently to keep drugs, dangerous drugs, and weapons in to our facility that could cause harm to inmates, staff, uh, personnel, and uh, you know, I'd say uh, the deterrent effect I think works really good with these individuals. We've had uh, about one a day. We're averaging about one a day. We're finding contraband in these individuals. But as acting as a deterrent, once they see the body scanner, they go ahead and submit, you know, retrieve the drugs. They have got drugs on me because, like I say, a Class C felony punishable to three to six years. That's what acts as a good deterrent. How long have y'all been using this thing already? Uh, it's about six months, but you know, we a lot of training, uh, trying to get it efficient, get everybody on the same page. Is taken uh, within the last couple of months. But you know, it works. It's been working. You just yeah. found things. It's working. Yeah, we're averaging about one a day. All right, thanks, Sheriff. Thank you, guys. Do you think as time goes on that it might act as a deterrent for people, now that they know you have this, they won't try to even come in? Yeah, that's what I was saying. The, the deterrent effect is a big deal. Once they see it, once they come in, they say, hey, I do have drugs um, on my person, uh, and they'll, they'll retrieve those drugs for us and get it uh, handed over before they even come in, go through their body scanner. And maybe as word spreads in the community, they won't even try to come in? With yeah, that's why we... Really glad about having you guys here today. Just let these inmates, these people being incarcerated in our facility, know that you know we are, um, and, and that's in, any inmate that's brought into our facilities going through this body scan. How many inmates do you process? Oh wow, you have a number. Uh, probably a hundred, hundred today, right? Okay. About one hundred sixty a week. One hundred sixty a week. Okay. Thanks. Can you remind us about the backstory to this? Like how how did the idea of the scanner come about? Well. It, worked out really good uh, you know ballot gets COCA funds and I'm sure uh, Eric can elaborate on that but they uh, have COCA funds for uh, you know stuff like this and uh, me and Alan Levine got to talking and Eric and uh, they just wanted to provide us you know they asked us what do y'all need and uh, this was a big goal of mine from uh, the time I got elected that I wanted to make sure that uh, we're keeping these drugs out, uh, out of, from the inside of our jail and uh, I had seen Carter County's body scanner I knew it how important that is on, on deter not only the deterrent effect, but on, on getting these dangerous drugs in our jail. And not only those drugs uh, coming in the facility, uh, once they make it in the facility, it makes it dangerous for inmates because uh, you know, they rob each other, uh, assault each other for food, uh, for money for these drugs. So you know, once we can keep this uh, facility clean of that, I think it's an uh, overall safe environment for, like I say, the inmates, staff, for people that don't know what the process was before, can you kind of explain about mobile x-ray and what that entails? Yeah, yeah, you pretty much uh, every, everybody booked into our facility will go through that mobile uh, uh, body scanner. Uh, we 
we've got trained and certified officers that's on uh, looking through each part of the, uh, the interior of the bottom of the cabin uh, to detect uh, anything that's, that's kind of different, uh, sort of highlighted. And then we would put them in what we call a dry cell. And that dry cell, the toilet wouldn't flush. Uh, so they would go in there, so they would have to uh, pass that at some, some point in time. But once it becomes where uh, it could be fatal, uh, we'll send them to the hospital and the, the doctors will retrieve that contraband. Prior to that, you, you, uh, as far as muggleway trade, if we suspected, oh, tray, I'm sorry. If we suspected it, uh, yeah. you get, uh, they had to be called in individually on a, on a, you know, if we suspected, they'd call them and they'd, they'd have to come out here and sometimes it'd take 30, 45 minutes. Is yeah. that what you said? Uh, yeah. Sorry, John. Yeah, mobile x-ray is a whole different story. And that, that's if we do assume or maybe had somebody call and give us information that this individual is bringing drugs, uh, then we would call mobile x-ray. And that's like I say, we were spending $18,000 a year just on mobile x-ray to come in here because they have to, uh, it, and 30 to 45 minute response time. So and that, that can be fatal. And still not able, you weren't able then to scan every single person. Right. Never. Yeah. We, we were never had that capability.